Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If I sound frustrated, it's because I am. I've moved my stand from the floor <laughs> up onto my desk. I've changed it to a different position. It is still not tight. It just flops. I just, just do not buy a stand with a light ring on it um, that you have to move about because it's where you craft. I think I need a different, uh, if I had the space, I'd have a separate table. But oh, anyway, my moaning is done. <laughs> okay, I'm on today just to do a quick video to show you how to make these beautiful envelopes. This was um, something that was suggested to me by Terry. Thank you very much, Terry. She sent me an email and said, have you seen this video? And it was an email for Victoria Designs from a couple of years ago. And in it, the lovely lady, I can't remember her name, I'm really sorry, she made this really simple, beautiful envelope. And all I've done with this, I've kept the white around the outside, which was just there from printing. And I actually love it because it creates this really pretty um, border on this particular envelope. Um, I can't remember what paper this is, but it's from a paper kit that I purchased from Etsy. So um, yeah, I think it's the wrapping paper one that I may have mentioned before. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. It's um, in a previous video, I mentioned the wrapping paper and I referenced the seller there. So um, if you go back and have a look at wrapping paper, you'll find it. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. It is so simple, it's ridiculous. So I've got some paper that I found when I was going through my stash. Um, and you just need some A4 and these are, yeah, there's some more of that um, wrapping paper and then I've got some more of this lace with the uh, kind of coffee dyed background. So I thought I would show you how to make them. So to start with, all you need to do is find the centre. Um, now the way I did it is I didn't bother measuring, I just turned my paper over and I made a little dent there so that when I opened it back up I could see where it was. And all you do is you bring this paper up to that mark as straight as you possibly can. And you just fold there. And then you need to do this corner here exactly the same way. So we're going to turn it round and bring up our corner. And again, just fold that there. And you're almost done. It's pretty easy. What we need to do now is um, you're going to start around here, just around, um, I would say, half a centimetre, two eighths up to create the bottom flap. So I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just leaving, you know, a little, part, a little bit here. It's up to you how deep you want it to be, really. I quite like it to show that I've got a little lip there, but it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to make sure I've got that nice and straight. Just need to bring both sides up. Yeah, that's fine. And then the same the other way. And I'm checking this edge here and lining it up with that edge like so. And then I'll probably grab my bomb folder and just quickly, oh, I've got buttons. <laughs> buttons roaming around my desk. I still didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done. So there's still a lot of tidying to do today. But I thought I'd jump on and just do a little bit of crafting first. Okay, so there you go. Um, I'll just show you that other one. Where have I done with it? Oh, fooey. Okay. So as you can see, they really are very, very pretty once you've made them. We'll make some more because I would like to do a little... Um, actually, let's see how you would glue this because I didn't get that far in the video. I suppose... I'm guessing that you would leave that flap open... I mean, you could cut that off, but I don't think I would. I think I'd just leave it open. So you'd probably just want to glue down that part. So should we do that so that we know what we're doing? See if my art like, glitter glue is definitely stuck. I can see a big blob on the end. So I definitely want this side. Right, let's turn this around. I knew you wouldn't do that. It'd be too easy for you to be completely clear. Right, let's uh, poke that in there. If I can, oh, it's getting stuck. Let's see if I've done it enough. So I want some glue up this way. I haven't. Sorry, guys, I should have checked. That's the only problem with this art glitter glue. It's lovely, but it does get jammed a lot, doesn't it? It's a pain. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Oh, just bent my bin. Right, let's see. Yes, we've got it. 
So I'll run some glue along there and close that down. I probably should have run some glue along here at the same time, but that's okay. And along this edge to there. And that should seal the envelope up. Um, there's a tiny bit that needs to come up to there. But other than that, I think we're okay. I mean, you could even kind of round the end if you wanted to. But that's it. And then we've still got, here we go. And that's how you get it in there. Got a little flap here. I just need to glue down. Perfect. There we go. So that's how you glue it. Right, let's make some more. Because I like them. They're very pretty. And I'm very thank you to Terry for showing me them. Because I'd, I'd never seen the video before, so... Let's see. So again, we make out, find a halfway mark. And I'm just going to fold that up and get that as straight as possible. And that's not very straight. You could eyeball it or you could put something straight along there, I suppose. Let's see. I know she suggested that in the video to make sure it was right. That's about as good as it's going to be, I think. just give myself a little burnish there and flip it round do, do, do. there we go fantastic so and then we're going to bring it up I'm going to make sure it's level on this side hold it there and run my bowl folder across and then this way I'd really like some I think it'd be nice to make some teeny ones of this as well some dinky little envelopes oh that's my computer going off and there we go let's just glue that one again so we know how to glue it so definitely along this part here Okay, and then probably here, isn't it? I think it's best to kind of eyeball where you want the glue to go, to be honest. Going up to there and going up to there. I think that's it. Let's see. Yep, that's it. Another one made. I really like that. It's going to be fantastic to decorate. Yeah, I definitely would put the corner take the corner off there if I can find my corner punch which has vanished with all my tidying or lack of tidying I should say oh come on there we go so I would definitely take this off and see how that looks yeah I really like that and you could do the same with this one actually if I hadn't have glued it down I won't get that in there now but I, I would definitely perhaps take that one off that gives it another look, I think. That's lovely. I like it. It's the one that I haven't, here we go. It's the one that I haven't sealed yet. So let's do that one. And this one. That is really pretty. Look at that. I love that. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that there may be an also something else I could do. I'm thinking of making a bit of a pretty edge on this. Because... See, try and get it in the right place. Oh, I didn't quite get it in the right place there for my cutter, but it's fine. We'll have a go. And then I'll have to move this one to here and hope that I get the end. Yes, kind of, but not why. Look, I kind of messed that bit up, but you get the idea. Yeah, I did mess that up. Okay, let's try a different one. I'm going to just trim that one off because I did mess it up. But I would, I think that's a nice idea to try and get that on there. But yes, I did mess that up rather dramatically. But you can always put trim on here. I think it's because it's quite full as well. Yeah, look, it's exploding. <laughs> Let me empty that. Ooh. Oh, I hate this thing. Right, let's move you over there again. Right, bin, where are thou? Okay, that's nice and empty now. Right, I might try that on the next one. Get rid of that. Okie dokie. Right, let's try it on this one and see if I can get that to work this time. Okay, so find your half. 
I'm very tired today. I had every best intention to get going yesterday and then I just, ugh, I did a bit, but then I just was so just exhausted I couldn't do anymore, which was a nightmare because I was grumpy because I really wanted to get it all done. But that's uh, just one of those things. Okay, so let's again line this up with this side and then turn it over and line it up with this side here there we go there we go and then I'm just going to try that again and see if I can make it well I won't take that corner off yet I'm just going to go and right let's try this a bit better than I just did it okay let's go right I'm going to go right to that edge where does that edge start there That's not too bad. Let's see if we can get it to line up. I'm not very good with these punches sometimes. Depends on on how the paper behaves and how I'm behaving in the day. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it's quite tricky because it is an envelope. Oh, that was really ridiculous, wasn't it? I didn't even have that in line. Oh, how stupid. All right, let's keep going. You never know, we might get it right this time. You probably see me there. I've done it again. You could probably see me doing it. Like, just stop. No, it's going to have to come off. Oh, I'm de determined to get it right. That's why I don't use that punch that often. I think it's just like a blind spot for me. Right, we've made a few. Let's try some lacy ones. I'm not sure I want to attempt that again, but I might try. <laughs> right, let's see. Let's make my little fold there and bring it up. I'm just going to eyeball that, make sure it's in the right place and it's nice and upright. And then the opposite direction. I have made a few of these before I was on camera, and I have to say they are pretty idiot proof, apart from if you want to use a punch. And you're an idiot and then not so much <laughs> oh dear oh dearie me I think I brought that up a little bit too far haven't I here yeah, don't want it too far up <laughs> oh, no. I know I'm gonna have loads of people in the comments no telling me what I did wrong I know what I did wrong I didn't do it in the right place but I think it's just because I'm still tired <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right, should we try that again? Okay, I am going to go right in there and do that and just go for it. And then we need to go and try and line this little bit up here and do it again. I'm determined, can you tell? That's kind of done it. There's only one little bit there. There we go. We'll, we'll just stick with that. I mean, we could go up this edge, but I'm not feeling confident, so I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> so that's another one. And we'll make one more lacy one, I think. What about this one? Let's see how this one looks, this paper. It's kind of mini mass making, isn't it? It's quite good. They're so easy to make. They're not difficult. See if we can do this one. Pull that up. Make sure that lines with this side. That gives you the best outcome, I think, lining that up there. There's a little bit of a, a funny thing going on here, but we're all right with that. And the same on this side. I'm just going to line that up and go across. There you go, there's another one. Really, really pretty. I love those, so I hope you like that little mini tutorial. I hope you like my bumbles with my Vassen Creative <laughs> cutter. But yeah, so I, I just really like those. So thank you, Terry, for showing me the, uh, for directing me to that video because these are really lovely. And I think they'd make a great, um, a great gift for somebody with a card, handmade card or just as part of a journal or um, 
something that you could put store ephemera in or something like that so they are really lovely so i hope you enjoyed that little quick um jump on i am going to have to go back to cleaning up this mess <laughs> and hopefully i will be back with you tomorrow take care guys bye